Hello, I'm Aaron Marino from Alpha M Image Consulting, and tonight, there's something different about me. I'm a little less stylish, I'm a little less fashionable than normal. Can you pick it out? Can you tell what it is? I'll stand here for a second. Go ahead, take it in. What is it? My jacket? My shirt? My earrings? My hair? Did I mess my eyebrows up in the last video? No! It's the undershirt! My God! People! Have we not learned anything from these videos? Well. Possibly not because I haven't addressed it, but tonight we're addressing undershirts that show. Now, I work with a lot of guys. I see this day in and day out. Does it look good? <laughs> are you retarded? No, it looks terrible. But I asked them, I said, why are you wearing an undershirt? Some guys are like, well, I always just thought I should. Oh, really? You haven't progressed from the age of three when your mother told you to? Okay, I'll, I'll take that. Well, now you know better. The three main reasons guys tell me that I hear day in and day out about why they wear an undershirt underneath their shirt when they're not wearing a tie. Number one, it's more comfortable. Oh, really? It's more comfortable having extra layers underneath your shirt? <laughs> okay, if you say so. Number two, sweat. I don't want armpit rings. And, and I just feel like if I have an undershirt on, I sweat less, it doesn't soak through and show in the shirt. Okay, I give you that. That's a logical and a good excuse, but there's an alternative to this. And number three, I don't want my nipples to show. <laughs> really? Nip? Really? I've heard it. Yes, guys are worried about their nipples. I don't understand. It's not like every day you're wearing a white shirt and somebody comes up and throws a glass of ice cold water on you. Woo! -hoo! No, your nipples. Okay, regardless. We can fix it, but some guys are like, hey, all right, I get it. The white t-shirt, it's out. It, it clashes with everything. I know. I'll fix it. I'll be right back. All right, I fixed it, right? Look at that. Blue. I got blue in the shirt. It matches Aaron. It's perfect now, right? No. <sighs> it's still terrible. Guys, guys, guys. No undershirt should be showing. If you need to wear one, go with a v-neck or, or maybe a wife beater or something like that. I mean, if you're worried about sweat, go with a v-neck, a low v-neck t-shirt. It won't be seen and it'll still absorb sweat. Just hold on a second. I've got to get out of this thing. All right, undershirt gone. My skin's not crawling. But seriously, why am I so adamant about you not wearing an undershirt that can be seen? There are four reasons. Reason number one, it looks terrible. Reason number two, it looks terrible. But seriously, reason number three, think about it. We're trying to create a visual streamline from her head down to her feet. Anything that breaks up that visual line has got to be eliminated. Undershirt, terrible. Your eyes moving up and boom, it just hits you. It's like, whoa, what are you doing there? No, get rid of it. We want it to open up, look nice, flawless, clean. And reason number four, you're tucking everything in and it's an extra shirt to add bulk and baggage basically to your midsection. You've got a great fitted shirt on. You're looking awesome. You've got that shirt underneath. Now you're tucking it in. You've got all this extra fabric. Undershirts and your primary shirt tend to get hung up so you see pulls and bunches. Not a good idea. Maybe you're still not convinced. You're still going to wear that undershirt because you're like, I sweat too much. I don't want sweat rings. Have you ever thought that maybe you're sweating your ass off because you've got extra clothes on? Doesn't sound crazy to me. Or maybe you just need to invest in a good antiperspirant deodorant. I don't know. Call me crazy. Anyway, that's beside the point. You're still going to wear your undershirt, and I can't stop you. But what you can do is buy a nice v-neck t-shirt or an undershirt. Uh, Hanes makes them. They're, you know, really cheap. You can buy a pack of five for like $10. Anyway, what's this going to do? It's going to satisfy you in the sense that you're still wearing an undershirt and your nipples aren't showing and you're not sweating through your shirt, but also it's going to satisfy me. You can have a button or two unbuttoned and you're not going to see that shirt. It's not going to be a boom, burst of, of ugly white shirt coming out through, a, through your fashionable shirt and jacket. Uh, so we're both satisfied. Or you could do a wife beater, but a wife beater isn't going to satisfy the sweating issue. Still going to happen. But some guys just like wearing wife beaters. <laughs> I happen to be one of them. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, next thing and last thing. How many buttons is appropriate or should you be unbuttoning a shirt? If you're wearing a shirt without a tie, um, you know, a lot of guys will unbutton the first button and that's it. Then they've got their second button 
you know, button. What's happening is that there's a lot of tension on that button and it looks a little bit ridiculous. Unbutton the second button at minimum. It's going to allow your shirt to open up a little bit better, creating a nice soft V that's opening your face up. Um, some guys, like myself, I've been called out, and uh, I'm Italian. What do you want? I actually usually undo another button, that third button. You know, is it that I like showing a lot of skin? <laughs> Maybe a little. Is it that, you know, I like all my chest hair showing? No, not so much. I really don't have much. But it is because I just feel a little bit more comfortable. My shirt is gradually coming down to a point. Um, you know, you have a few buttons unbuttoned. It's not that your shirt, your chest is, you know, exposed for everybody to see. It's subtle. You can't really even tell. Uh, but you're not comfortable with it? That's cool. My Italian brethren, I know you're rocking it, so keep it up. All right, well, this is my video on undershirts. Please, if you're going to do it and you have to do it, do a v-neck. Nobody wants to see that ugly-ass shirt. Have a great day. Bye-bye.